What's up, guys? We're Neck Deep. We're hanging out with Rob on punkvideosrock.com. Yeah. It's been about a good year. Yeah. I saw you guys at the Roxy on that last tour, but I didn't do any press. I wanted to go as a fan. Hey, so awesome. it was it was a good show, man. It was a really good show. Yeah, man. Real Friends is always a good time. It's good to be touring out with those guys. You know, we had fun. Um, and yeah, California always just brings it. It's always the best to be playing out in California. So. Yeah. It doesn't even feel like you guys aren't from California, though. I feel like every time you guys are here, you get like that kind of home. Yeah, yeah dude. I hey. think the California people just know how to put on a good show and yeah. how to enjoy a show and yeah. just have the best time. I know? think because we've always shown a lot of love towards California, we've always said it's like the sickest place. Yeah. We've always had the sickest shows here. I feel like people just people are just down with us out here, and that's yeah. awesome. Does it, blow, does it blow your mind that a few years ago, you were just an acoustic person on YouTube. <laughs> well, yeah. <I> mean, <laughs> but now it's like you're taking no, over. Yeah, it's fucking huge, dude. Like, I really didn't expect any of this. You know, I never expected to come to California and be playing shows. But here we are, you know, main stage. Well, played main stage today on Warped yeah. Tour. Dream come true, dude. Legit dream come true. So, yeah, thanks. <laughs> you guys are making big moves in, like, such a short amount of time. I think that's just the way it is, you know, these days, you know, you have the internet, which which is obviously a major platform for any any band who is looking to get their name out. I think that's just the way it moves these days, you know, th everything moves fast these days, everything. So music is no exception to that. And I think, you know, we just caught the wave at the right time and we're just riding out, dude. <laughs> Flying sweet riffs and hope that everyone still likes us. You yeah, know. Dude. yeah you're pretty much. You're definitely not wasting any time. There's a new record coming August 14th, and I'm super excited about it. That's right. Yeah, we're so excited. We already like we already put out the first single, "Can't Kick Up the Roots," which we're playing all summer, and then we just shot a video for the second single, like last we like literally like a handful of days three days ago yeah, yeah you know, literally like, I was trying to count in my head how many days literally like three days ago and that's gonna be coming out about I think it's about halfway through the tour and when it comes out we'll be playing it for the rest of the tour and yeah we're best super excited shit, best, best shit we've ever written hands yes. down like it is just you know best album we've written I feel like it's a huge step up from the last stuff which is always good you always want to step it up but I feel like it steps it up two three four five notches yeah. you know what I mean yeah. it, it really is it really is every song is a banger uh, we were struggling to choose singles, um, oh, yeah. and yeah, I think like in every element, it's been stepped up. You know, uh, the drums, the guitars, the, like the vocals, the lyrics. I feel like are way better, and um, yeah, just just general good vibes on it, man. I really can't wait for people to hear it. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool. What do you think it was that that stepped up this record that much? I think it was just like a lot to do with the way we went about the production, you know, and it was it was a lot more like introspective in the sense that we really sat down with the songs and it wasn't a case of like let's write a song okay that song's done cool let's record it it was like right now that it's wrote let's look at it and really see how we can make this song the best it can be and is that the best chorus for that song is that the best way to do that verse you know and really yeah, it might have even pick just it been apart like, and yo change this chord like yeah. this one chord yeah. and it was like oh sweet that brings that whole part to life awesome and it was just things like that we would just dissect things a whole lot more than we did with our last album you know we really looked into the writing process and uh, obviously having like uh, outside producers working with us too um seb my brother still helped out on a couple of the demos but then uh, from then on like we uh andrew wade tom denny and obviously jeremy mckinnon uh, helped out massively with the album you know um we busted our balls every single day with jeremy and, and wade in his studio in his house, yeah like, just like sweating his house out just annoying his girlfriend all summer playing with his dog. oh well it wasn't even summer it's fucking christmas time yeah, what am i talking about dude but yeah I, that was it we were there for two months flew home for christmas came back and yeah just two months straight in florida we basically lived out there we had like a little house that we rented out and, and we stuff pretty much i literally remember we finished like we, had, we were on the last day available that we had to do it we were going to like 3 a.m. doing vocals, but then we finished like yeah. with like an hour to spare, you know. So the album literally it was went like right up to the line, dude. Like it really wow. did. But yo, there were some days where like Wade and Jeremy like fully, fully bust their balls. Like, yeah. so yeah, all respect to those guys. Like they fucking helped out massively with the album, and I think they without them it would have came out a lot different. Um, and yeah, I think I think yeah, it was awesome working with those guys. So now with working with with them, any possibilities of possibly having them on the record? <laughs> is, that, is that a yes? <laughs> maybe, maybe it's nothing major. You know, you might hear, you might hear the odd little bit, but uh, okay. yeah, there's not. We'll like wait. A, it was weird. It was kind of like happened in a weird yeah. way. It wasn't like, it wasn't oh, let's have a guest spot. You know, it was nothing like that. It just there's maybe a, like a little thing, but it was yeah. kind of just like. It kind of accidentally it happened, and it was like, happened. you know what? That's cool. Just leave it. You know, yeah. it was like, it was like an idea. No, we don't mind if you just leave it in there. Yeah, right? exactly. It was an idea that we played around with that then ended up. Uh, 
yeah, ended up the way it ended up. You'll, you'll hear it, and it sounds awesome, and we're stoked on it. But we never planned on having a guest spot, but it kind of just happened. And it's not like a huge part. Yeah. It's just a cool part that fans will just be like, oh, that's awesome. You know, it's not like an overwhelming, yeah. like, it's not like... It's a nice memory of, like, doing the album. Yeah. So when you hear it, you know, you remember, like, how it went down and who was there and just... Yeah, it's it's just like a vibey thing. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. it's kind of good because... It's a real team thing, and it was kind of nice to... Have Jeremy have on Jeremy that bit, little, yeah. Do his little... Little, little sting on it. Like. He doesn't he usually do guest spots either, so yeah, no, he hooked yeah. us up. He hooked us up. So yeah. yeah. Cool. It doesn't even seem like you guys were out working. No, not really. We were yeah. just chilling. We, I chilled hard. Chill well, Lloyd Lloyd worked hard. I remember Lloyd was out there. Lloyd didn't even go home for Christmas. He was out there for legit, uh, including the tour that we did just before as well. He was out there for like three months straight. He was but like guitars obviously take a long time in the studio. He busted his balls. And um, Danny pulled out the stops, dude. Like. We need, it was at the point where it was getting like down to the wire, like, fuck, we're going to have time to do this. And we were like, realistically, Danny needs to do his drums in two or three days. But no one wanted to say anything to him. No one wanted to be like, yo, you have two or three days to do it. Then he came home. He, no, he came back from Christmas and was just like, yeah, I think I can do it in two or three days. We're just like, oh, it's like, fuck. And he did. And he like smashed it out. Um, and yeah, it was awesome. Everyone worked really hard, and I think everyone's parts came out like sick. There's like individual, there's bass bits, which are like sick. There's individual little bass riffs, which are awesome. Um, the guitars and the drums are way better. Danny's drums came out solid. I feel like I did a way better job on the vocal. Like I think my voice sounds better than it ever has, and I think the lyrics that I've written are, um, yeah, way better than the last album. Some of the best stuff I've ever written as well. So. Now is this still the same label, or did anything change as far as uh, no, still, uh, labels? Still on hopeless. Still yeah. on hopeless. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's all going good there. You know, we've had a great relationship with them, and you know, we're down for a while and. Yeah. yeah, that's, that's yeah, all we, for them. We've never had an issue with Hopeless. Yeah. You know, they've always been good to us. They've always um, done everything that we've asked, and you know, they've always reciprocated whenever we we when we needed their help with things. So, yeah, they're they're awesome. We trust them, and you know, they they've put a lot of faith into us. You know, they know that we're that uh, well, without blowing my own fucking trumpet, but they know that we're set for big things. You know, with the album and stuff. They've obviously heard the album and when holy shit like this is awesome this is they've all said like this is the album that we needed to write and so that's awesome yeah they, they're super supportive yeah man yeah. Super supportive. august needs to come a little faster so. Dude, i wish i wish i wish we could drop it now but you know you gotta you gotta get that hype train rolling. Hey, if you guys do the beyonce it's okay just drop it <laughs> that was sick the the beyonce mashup yo she yeah she sounded way better than me dude she should just join this band now yeah i'll leave and we got beyonce on vocals and jay-z could play bass yeah <laughs> Well, you can pre-order it at the tent all summer, and you can get like your physical record sleeve yeah. now. For anyone who doesn't know about it, we're doing like a different color, different unique record sleeve each week of Warped. You can pre-order it at the tent, and you get the sleeve now. Okay. Yeah. So, and so what are we getting when we get the record? Just the, the record? record? The record with its proper sleeve, because there's like a proper stock sleeve, but this is like a unique one. Yeah, this one is gonna go on the wall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, the yeah. one that you'll get, the, the, the one that you'll get when you pre-order at Warped, yeah, is a is a collectible. You'll still get the record with its original cover and all that sort of stuff, you but this like is just a alternate sleeve for it, basically. Yeah. Nice. And they're gonna be rare. So and the record's called uh, "Life's Not Out to Get You." Life's not out to get you, dude. Are you guys planning any new material for this tour right uh, now? Besides that one single that you guys dropped? Yeah, when, we will be playing. Yeah, when, when the next single drops, we're going to be playing that. So about halfway through, we'll be adding in uh, our ne this, like, uh, the next single too, which is called Gold Steps. Okay. So we'll be playing that. And lastly, that music video that you guys just shot, there's a skate ramp in it. What can you tell me about the skate, uh, the, skate ramp about the skate video? Skate ramp <laughs> moving through the streets on the back of a flatbed and on fire and, and with people skating fast. on it. Yeah, it's, yeah. We were on the back of it. It was on the back of a truck. We were on it playing, and the truck is driving through a town with kids us like on it, and the kids are like chasing it, and then we get to this awesome place, and we just we blow it skating up. Skating on it while it was moving too, and then we like. It go, yeah, yeah, it's awesome, dude. It's awesome. It looks straight it's up great. like a Seaway video. <laughs> the first thing they said to me was like, "Hey, I heard you recorded a Seaway video." We we're like, "Yeah," um, but no, we, obviously no intention there. But um, yo, came out sick. Came out so well. Cal Thrash like killed it. Absolutely killed it. I can't wait for you guys to drop that. And uh, the album comes out on August fourteenth. Yep. Catch them on the Vans Warp Tour this summer. And uh, anything you guys want to say? Uh, yeah, just thanks for checking us out. Make sure you uh, you know you keep your eyes peeled for all the album and things like that. And yeah, sweet.